If you're looking to wholesale tax liquid properties in any city of your choice, make sure you stick through to the end because I'll be showing you how you come up with your max liable offer and your initial offer on tax liquid properties that have mortgages and that does not have mortgages. And as a bonus, I'll be showing you how you can find these lists in any state. Let's get into the video. Now in this example, let's say that we have a homeowner that has a property that has $10,000 in back taxes. So what we're gonna do, we need to figure out first what the max allowable offer is and what our starting offer would actually be. So in this example, I'm gonna use the 70% rule. Let's say this property in tip top condition is worth $300,000. That will be our after repair value. So what we'll do, we'll multiply the after repair value by 70% and that's gonna give us a number of 210,000. We spoke with the homeowner, we build rapport and the homeowner says that the property needs a small amount of repairs. So we came up with a number of $15,000 in repairs. So then we're gonna subtract that 15,000, which then will give us a number of $195,000. Then we're gonna subtract the amount that is currently delinquent, which will be $10,000. That will create an amount of $185,000. Then on this particular deal, we kept it simple. We only wanna make $10,000. So we subtract another $10,000 from the $185,000. So our max allowable offer is $175,000. So if you don't know what a max allowable offer is, it's just the amount that you will have to stop to meet the assignment fee that you wanna walk away with after the deal closes. So now to get our initial offer, which will be our starting price, I like to subtract 10% from our max allowable offer and that would actually be our starting offer. So if you subtract 10% from $175,000, our initial offer will be $157,500. So that would be our starting offer and then give us wiggle room to negotiate up to the 175. This was the example with no mortgage. Now you gonna see how simple it is to add in the tax delinquent amount with the mortgage in this next example. Now, before we get into this next example, just take one second, hit the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell because that's gonna show that you appreciate the content and that this video is valuable and YouTube will push it out to a larger audience. Now, let's go to the next example. So now, in this example, we just gonna use the same numbers, but like I said, we just gonna add a mortgage on to it. So everything is gonna remain the same. So we already know we have a $300,000 property. We're gonna multiply that by 70%. That's gonna give us a price of $210,000. We're gonna subtract the $15,000 from the $210,000, which will give us an amount of $195,000. We subtract the taxes that's owed of $10,000, which will equal to $185,000. Then we subtract our assignment fee, which will be $10,000, which will bring us down to one seventy-five. dollars We have our max allowable offer. We should track another 10% from that. And now our initial offer will be 157,500. At the end, we'll just add on that it has a $80,000 mortgage that has to be taken care of before the property will be able to transfer over to the buyer. So we would just attract the $80,000 from our initial offer if the seller accepts that or we will subtract it from whatever offer we agree to with the seller up until the max allowable offer and that's what the seller would walk away with and that's what it would take to make sure that the property is free and clear whenever it transfers over to our cash buyer but that's pretty much how simple it is and that's how you will make your offer on these properties it's just a little bit more work but it's pretty simple and the process is not hard at all. Now, let's get into how you can find your tax delinquent list for free at your courthouse or how you can use softwares such as PropStream to build a tax delinquent list and market to that list as well too. Let's hop into my computer now. All right, so now that we're in my computer, I just wanna show you the end result where you have a list down the side in my county, it may be different than yours, where this is courthouse data that shows you the amount of taxes that's owed on a property. And you can actually export this in the Excel spreadsheet and market to this data. 
But what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna show you how you can actually find this and it may work for your county or you may have to go up to the courthouse to get this done. But what I would do, I would just open up a new tab. Then I go to tax foreclosures, Mecklenburg County. Then I go to click here to launch the foreclosure map. So this is just a map showing you where all the foreclosures are, the tax foreclosures. Then I will leave it at amount due. Then I will go to property type, residential, land use, residential with structure, and then I click search. So as you can see, it pulled up properties that are delinquent in taxes. So now what I would actually do, I would move this tab over, go to options, export all to CSV file. So now you see you do have a lot of useless data. I mean, you have the parcel ID, but the main thing that you need, you would need the property address. All of this other stuff, I mean, the amount of course is important, but you know that these properties are tax delinquent. So what I normally do at this point, when I have a list that looks like this, I have the extra feature inside a prop stream that will allow me to import data that's incomplete and then I can export the data with all the property fields such as first name, last name, address, whatever is missing. PropStream will be able to give me all that information in a matter of five seconds. Another option that you have, you can actually pay someone to go in and do that for you but I'm all about moving as quick as possible. So I'd rather give PropStream some extra money and be able to get the full list in a matter of five minutes. But that's how you get a free tax delinquent property. Now let's, let me show you how you can do it inside of PropStream. All right, so now that we're back into my computer, let me show you how you can build this same list inside of PropStream. So I'm gonna type in my county, Mecklenburg County. I'm gonna go to liens. I'm going to go to residential, single family condo, multifamily two to four. Ownership info, I'm going to do a minimum of five. Go to tax liens and I'm going to do 5,000 or more for the lien amount. And another thing that you want to go in and do, you want to make sure you're not marketing to million dollar properties because most investors are not going to be looking for million dollar properties. It depends on your area as well, because if you're out in California, it can be a million dollars. But in my area, we're going to just say 350,000 max. So that brought the list down to 18. If you want to increase it a little bit more, you can. But this is how you build a, a tax delinquent list inside a prop stream that you can actually market to. And I hope this is something that you can add into your business. So I hope this video was very helpful for you. I wanted to give out some more free content just to show you how you can pull tax and link lists for free, or you can use a cheap service such as PropStream, which I will have linked below to pull that list as well too. And you do get a seven day free trial with that. So please feel free to check out my wholesaling playlist here and I'll see you next time.